Vodafone has said it's going to move into the home broadband and TV market next year in the UK, which is the latest sign of a telecoms group really looking to expand itself into uh, different services and different products to offer to its customers. The television is a great way to get people to, to sign up for broadband. Broadband is where all the action is. Uh, in the US, um, cable companies have become the biggest providers of, of, uh, of broadband by, by offering television. And they can bundle it with television. They can bundle telephony and offer triple play packages, which are very, very high margin, great business for them. Uh, and Vodafone looks to be doing a similar sort of thing in the United Kingdom. In part, it's defensive. It's because BT has already said it's going to launch its own mobile service. And at the same time, you've got technology groups already eating its uh, lunch, as it were. And, providing instant messaging services. So it's for Vodafone really to reinvent itself as a combined media and telecoms group where it can offer all things to all people. Over the years, cable companies laid their pipes, laid their cables around the US, connecting cities, offering television. Uh, and they discovered that the, the, the high capacity cables, the high capacity lines that they were putting into homes were big enough to also send high speed internet signals down. Um, so they, they kind of stole a march on the, the, the telco industry and they were able to build this kind of powerful position as the biggest providers of broadband. Now, as TV switches from you know, an over the airwaves, uh, even cable experience to an internet experience, those guys are perfectly placed to sort of you know, rule the future of entertainment. There are definite reasons for Vodafone to want to offer uh, broadband and, and potentially TV content to its customers. For a start, it owns the pipes, it owns the delivery mechanism for which to, uh, to get to its customers. So, for Vodafone, who offer mobile packages to, uh, to people as well as now home broadband, it can offer content which will drive data consumption. For example, if you're downloading a lot of Netflix onto your phone, you'll be using a lot of, uh, 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 a lot of your bundle to do so, which means you have to probably move up to a higher tariff. Similarly, on broadband, you want super fast broadband to watch internet TV. So for Vodafone, you can definitely see reasons for it to, uh, to bring on, on a greater deal of content. It already does do some of that to an extent on its mobile packages. Internet providers have a legal obligation not to block or limit your access to a website. In the, in the US, AT&T said that it was going to suspend its rollout of um, high-speed fiber, super-fast broadband via, via fiber, I think in 100 cities because of uncertainty about the future regulation uh, of the broadband market. This followed Barack Obama's intervention uh, in the net neutrality debate. Um, in the Europe, similarly, the, the costs are very high, but the rewards are very high too. It's a very high margin business. And you know, homes of, of the future, well now and in the future, are going to be getting most of their entertainment through, uh, o over the internet, through broadband. That's where the action is going to be. There's a big fight forming uh, in the middle ground of this converged uh, telecoms, technology and media space. You see everyone wanting to offer all things to all people, which is a, you know, ultimately going to cause quite a lot of conflict between companies which before weren't actually rivals. So you see companies like Liberty coming up against a Vodafone. Vodafone and BT clearly uh, were very different companies not so long ago, and now they're moving to similar spaces. Similarly, Sky in the UK and Europe is, is you know, under pressure from telecoms groups for the first time, which it never was before which is kind of throwing up these interesting dilemmas about what exactly companies will be doing in the future. And they're really trying to reinvent themselves and, uh, and try to meet what the customer now wants from a modern telecoms, broadband and media supplier. I think the jury is still out on exactly how uh, this will all work out. There's a lot of money being invested in things like content, for example, BT putting two billion pounds into, uh, into buying sports rights, and at the same time giving away for free. So business models will have to be created around how uh, people monetize content, how they uh, look to generate profits from one of their bundles. So for example, BT will focus more on broadband, Vodafone will focus more on their mobility side of things, uh, Sky will focus on their TV side. So although they have uh, sort of converged in the middle, they will have different business strategies at the moment. I think the, the lines between fixed line operators and cell, cell operators are blurring. I think we're gonna, there's going to be more uh, internet offered over, the, over wireless, um, as wireless speeds pick up. So there's all these companies, you know, and then you have cable on the other side. All these companies are smashing together. And at stake is this, this very, very high margin, very, very attractive business of supplying people with their, their news, their entertainment, their, their connectivity. They all want a piece of that action. Uh, and it's that, that business isn't going away.